Welcome back to the Regimentals YouTube channel. So it's been quite a long time since my last video. Um, we're going through lockdown here in the UK, so it's difficult to find the motivation and the stock to, to produce a good video. But finally, um, I'm back and um, today I've got some really fantastic things to show you. I'm just gonna feature three items which are coming onto our website this week. Um, and one of them in particular is probably the, one of the most fantastic items that I've ever owned. So um, it's here beside me on this mannequin and also here on my right. And what it actually is, it's a whole group of items belonging to one career soldier who was a general in the um, Africa Corps and he, he, I have his whole complete file, including his general's Africa Corps general's uniform, including about 15 original photographs of him wearing this tunic. And it's one of the most fantastic in-depth historical pieces that I've ever owned. The Knight's Cross citation that comes with it is without doubt the best condition Knight's Cross citation we have ever owned in over 45, 50 years of business. Um, it's an absolutely fantastic thing. And um, you can see it here with the General's Eagle still on it, um, Africa Corps cuff title. And what it actually is, it's, it's a, it's a tailor-made general's tunic, so it's been tailor-made for him. In the pocket here, you can see his Africa Corps diary. Um, lovely, lovely condition. Re you know, it's been used, it's been worn. But what's most fantastic about this is that I have actual photographs of him wearing that tunic. And that is an absolute premium with anything um, from World War One, World War Two. To find those images is actually unbelievable. What I like most about this group, um, though, is the, is the Africa Corps diary that comes with it, because when you flick through the diary, it's completely filled out. And when you focus in on, on uh, the dates of Tobruk and El Alamein, he's specifically referenced those battles in his diary. Um, one of the reasons being, he was there. Um, it, when, you, when you research his history, he was there at all those battles. His name was Hans Hecker, or um, he was often known as Hermann Hecker, as well. Um, he, he was a, a career soldier, he, he fought in right from 1914 all the way through the First World War. He won uh, major awards including the Knight's Cross of Hohenzollern, quite a high award. He, he continued as a soldier um, after World War One, and he served um, for the army all the way through the, the post-war period uh, for the Reichswehr as well. And then at the start of World War II, he was uh, heavily involved in the invasion of France, the invasion of Russia, um, and then of course he joined um, the, the Panzer Army Africa, where he was obviously um, later involved in El Alamein and Tobruk. Um, with the group, I have all of his uh, photograph albums from World War I, all of his World War I citations, um, all of his World War II citations, including a um, wound badge and silver pen signed by Rommel, which is, which is very hard to find. Um, he won the German Cross in gold. Um, he won uh, a, a rare Romanian award. But as I said, the, the best, one of the best pieces about this group is the condition of his Knight's Cross. It even has the two felt pads uh, that, that were issued with it. They're still there. And, and virtually every Knight's Cross document I've ever owned, they're always missing. There's probably a handful of customers in the world that can own this piece, but everyone would want to own it. I mean, it's just an absolutely fantastic thing. I could probably spend half an hour to an hour sitting here talking to you about, about the group and the history of it, but obviously um, it's not ideal to do in a video. So I really do encourage you to, to look at it on our website and read the full description and actually consider how rare it is to find images of, of the, the item being worn and the fact that we have those photographs. So also I'd like to mention that with the group, I have the tunic, the diary, the photographs, the citations, the Knight's Cross citation, but I also have his uh, 
General's great coat, the Continental great coat, um, and it's named to Hans Hecker. It's got his name label inside. The reason being I don't have it here is because I had all the items sent to me separately because of the high value, and the the General's great coat is actually just stuck in the post at the moment. So um, I wanted to get the video out there. I didn't want to have to hang on for another week waiting for the for the General's great coat to arrive. So you know when you consider the group, just bear, bear in mind there is a, a, a named General's great coat with it as well. Like I said, I could probably spend hours sitting here talking about it, but I'm just going to let the photos do the talking, the images, and you can see how important this group is. So one of the other items that I wanted to feature in this video is this beautiful assault gun wrap. It's a Grossdeutschland division, um, assault gun wrap with all of its insignia. It has its Grossdeutschland cuff title, um, originally applied zigzag machine stitched um, e breast eagle on there. Um, of quite a large size, it's got lots of loops here where medals and awards have been. And what is, is really interesting about this, this group is, is that when you look at the, um, the interior, you can see um, the stampings, let me just undo these buttons, these just while I'm undoing these buttons, I just mentioned they're the very late war buttons you commonly see on the late war um, assault gun rats. I really like them, they're very very basic. But what I was going to say about the lining is, um, I found it re when I was photographing it for the website, I found it really hard to pick out the, the, um, the markings. They're here, but you can only see them when you angle it into a certain, certain light, and you can see the white ink stamp markings really really hard to see but it's just it's just really interesting that you have to hold it into a certain light to be able to see the markings but you know assault gun wraps sell really well now this one has come from the same collection where we we got a few from recently um it's, uh, it's a very very old collection and um, fantastic items the assault gun wraps and to have one from the gross deutschland division um there'd be a bit of a scramble for this one it's a really a really popular popular item and then finally here I wanted to show you um, the third item of this little video, which, um, you know, it's an item worthy of having a, uh, a video of its own. Um, it's overshadowed by the, by the Africa Corps General's tunic. But this here is a, a, a paratrooper smock, and I, I mentioned it uh, or made reference to it in a, in a video uh, recently when I was uh, showing off a, um, a 1940 first pattern um, paratrooper smock. And this is a similar thing. It's, it's the first issue paratrooper smock, um, but it's, it's made out of the Luftwaffe flight suit material. Now, a very, very small number of these were made. It's, it's virtually identical in, in cut and style and zips to the 1940 pattern green step-in paratrooper smock. But as you can see, it's made out of the, of the, the flecked uh, material you see of Luftwaffe flight suits or Luftwaffe flying helmets. This is the first one I've ever owned. Um, I have seen pictures of them before. Uh, I've never actually seen one in the flesh. Um, I've been chasing this one for quite some time and I'm really pleased to actually have it here. It's really for an advanced collector, someone who's already got the, the 1940 step-in smock um, and wants to get you know, an example of every different type ever made. Still got its eagle um, on there, really nice, the early eagle, a real variety of rapid zips and elite zips. Um, different makers but they're all intact yeah this is one's elite I think yeah lovely and um, lovely condition can't see much damage on it at all all the pop studs press studs are there um, hard to display it's quite a, um, it's quite a cumbersome garment to, to display it would look probably look better on a mannequin um, but people that know German paratrooper stuff they, they will know how rare this is um, this one here is going to be on our website for £19,000. I think the last um, 1940 stepping smock in green we sold for I think 17 or 17 and a half thousand. This one is slightly more because of its rarity. But you know, this, these three items that I've featured in this video, they're going to be on this week's update. So you know, usually these things they don't 
sell instantly on the website, so you'll hopefully have a chance to see them, read the, read the description to take it in uh, in more detail. Um, nevertheless, even if they do sell, they'll be on our website in the archive or for you to, for you to see them as, as sold on our website. Um, yeah, it's good to be back doing the videos. It's quite hard after not doing one for a number of months to get back into the swing of it. Um, this was a particularly hard one to do because the items that I'm that I'm showing need need time for you to actually look at. Um, so it's quite hard. It's, it's not your usual. Oh, look what's coming into stock. It, these are really special items. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, next week I'm going to do another video. It will be a bit more um, of stuff that's coming on our website. Nothing as special as this, but just really really nice items. We're getting back into the swing of it now. The updates will come thick and fast. Don't forget um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already please do we do our best to show you some really interesting stuff hopefully keep you busy through through these difficult times so keep watching the website and we'll see you soon